Hello YouTube, welcome back. We're back with another video in my series on the Options Greeks. I have them all arranged as a playlist, so if you want to check that out, uh, there's a link above. Um, if you like this kind of content on YouTube, do subscribe and do hit the like button as well. And you can hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time I put up a new video. So this is the fourth video in our series on the Greeks for option investors. And in this video, we're going to learn about theta. Theta measures the sensitivity of options values to the passage of time. This is the tendency for options prices to fall due to the passage of time. And it's also known, a lot of option uh, traders will refer to it just as time decay. Theta is the first derivative of the Black-Scholes options pricing model with respect to time remaining to maturity. Theta is intuitively easy to understand. Longer dated options are obviously going to be worth more than shorter dated options, simply because the more time that's left until expiration, the more time there is for a big move or, you know, it can be a rise or a decline, but something big has more time to occur and the, the option can eventually become deep in the money. So let's think a little bit about this. The way that I explain it in class is to say to a student that if I were to offer to sell you a call option, uh, we'll say on, on a stock, we'll say Apple computer, and we'll imagine Apple is trading at 100 dollars right now and I say that I will sell you a call option on Apple with a strike price of two hundred dollars so that is the right but not the obligation to buy it from me at two hundred dollars now it's gonna have to more than double in value for that to become valuable now if I said to you that that I would sell you that option but it expires in 15 seconds you might say well Patrick I'm not gonna buy that option from you it's it's worth nothing what are the odds that the biggest company in the world will double in value in the next 15 seconds. That's, that's not an option that I would pay money for. Now, instead of it expiring in 15 seconds, if I said to you, well, it'll expire in 40 years, you might say, well, actually, it's quite reasonable to think that over 40 years that a, a big stock like Apple could double in value. So you might actually want to buy that option from me. So intuitively, you can see there that with a very short expiration, it seems quite unlikely that our, our option is going to pay off or going to be worth anything, and so you, you just wouldn't pay much for it. But with a very long expiration, you might say, well, actually, it, you know, there's, there's loads of time for it to double in value. Now, let's change that and say it's a put option. And once again, we'll say Apple is trading at $100. And if I said there's there's a, a put option, which is the right to sell that, the right but not the obligation to sell Apple stock to me at $50. So it, it would have to half in value. It would have to more than half in value in order for that option to be worth something. Um, once again, if I said to you that'll expire in 15 seconds, you'd say, well, Apple probably won't half in value in the next 15 seconds. But if I said 40 years expiration, you would say, well, actually, there's a lot that can happen. You know, Apple's a, a great company, but, uh, you know, so was so was BlackBerry and so were uh, a bunch of companies that have now uh, disappeared. So for both puts and calls, you can see that the more time to expiration, the more an option is worth. And so, so then hopefully you can understand that basically as each day ticks by, an option is worth less. A, an option with 30 days left to expire is worth more than an option with 29 days left to expire. And so thus, as each day goes by, you, you'd expect your option to fall a little bit in value, and that is theta. So traders usually look at one day theta. You can, you can calculate theta for any period that you want, but usually people care about how much uh, theoretically, it will fall in price, all other things held equal, um, if one day passes. Now, you can't hedge theta. So with things like uh, delta and so on, there, there's some of our Greeks that are quite hedgeable. You can't really hedge theta. So if you don't want to be exposed to that idea that, that an option falls in value every day, you probably just shouldn't buy uh, options at all. And, you know, th this is very similar to almost any 
kind of thing with an expiration. We'll say uh, I, I often compare options to insurance policies and you know when you buy an insurance policy on your car and it has a year left each day that goes by that uh, that insurance contract should be worth less to you simply because it's covering less time and so you see the same thing with with options if you're long options equally if you're short uh, options it's a bit like being the insurance company that sold that insurance policy if you're short options each day that ticks by without uh, a major move against you or in your favor you're you're happier there's just less time and thus the option is worth less so hopefully this has explained theta reasonably well to you uh, let me know in the comments below if there are any other topics that you'd like me to to cover in these videos um, you've made it to the end so you have to hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this stuff I'm at at the moment I'm putting up a video every day. Uh, once I've gotten uh, a lot of this stuff up I might slow down and move to one video a week. Um, but uh, do subscribe if you want to see them. See you later. Bye.